Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at what external tools we can use to make Assetto Corsa Competizioni even better. Let's take a look at them, shall we? First up, we have the Assetto Corsa Competizioni Results Companion. Now this little tool lets us monitor our sessions so we can see results from all our sessions that we've had. It then can allow us to track our circuit records for various years and configurations. We can also have a look at the fastest across all cars and display average times. We can look at leaderboards. So this tracks essentially all players that have the results companion installed. And then we can usually find drivers in here or ourselves, and we can compare ourselves to those drivers in terms of our pace, where we're fast and where we're slower based on sector times, the deltas can be quite helpful. We can narrow that down by which car. So I primarily drive the V8 Aston GT3 uh, with overall and say gold quality. Then we can see all other drivers that are rated under those particular uh, categories and their lap times, which is pretty handy. We can look at result statistics for various tracks. We can have a look at potential session recommendations for fuel usage. Next up, we have MoTeC I2 which has a workspace provided in ACC. And because ACC can produce telemetry files for us, we can load those up in MoTeC. So what this allows us to do is compare ourselves to other drivers or to different lap times. So this is a wet weather session maybe we wanted to have a look against our first lap and we can see the difference in performance against ourselves here and here we can see there's a difference in speed we hit f3 we can see what that looks like on variance essentially what motec is allowing us to do here is visualize that telemetry and get some meaning from it so we can see the rev differences we can see the gears the brake the throttle on the comparison screen we can have a look at the driver screen, which shows us things like steering angle, as well as uh, the long and lats in here. We can see wheel speed, so we can see if we're getting wheel spin in certain directions. And we have, you know, RPM history, suspension history, that allows us to set up our car properly. We can have a look at the track reports, which gives us a nice visualization of where we're braking from, what gears we're in. And, you know, th these are all quite useful things in order to improve our performance. That's essentially what MoTeC provides. Next up, we have Race Sim Tools. This provides us with various games, but we are, have a look in this particular instance at ACC. And it's very similar in many regards to what we're looking at with MoTeC i2. Let's have a look at similar data. So we can see in here lap time data, and we can see do a comparison against other laps. We can have a look at handling, suspension, gearing, aero, temps, track information, the run, and then driver details. So it's very similar to MoTeC, but cut down. It also has the uh, added benefit because it has direct integration with ACC. For every lap that we complete, it generates those changes in here automatically. So if you can, if you have the ability to alt tab or have a second screen that you can run this on, you can then see your um, telemetry in real time. 
Additionally to this, if you've paid for the packs, you can also have a look at the data database, which can give you information on kind of alien like lap times. I think these are from Nils. And you could say, if you want to have a look at AMR, you can have a look at the videos. So in here, you can watch the um, video for seeing how a lap time has been achieved. You can download the setup that achieved that lap time and download the data. If you wanted to download the data, for example, that then is loaded into here. So you can, you're picking up this data. So if we have a look at session two, this is now lap data for Imola. And you can see some of these magical lap times. So this cut down view, some people like for setting up and lap comparisons and others prefer MoTeC. I, I, I kind of, I'm somewhere in between that I use MoTeC to do lap comparison and I use race sim tools to do my setup work. Sometimes all you want is a simple fuel calculator and there are lots of discord bots for that, but say you wanted a desktop standalone one, this little fuel calculator is pretty handy for that. You can pick a track, pick your total time for the race, your average lap time. And, you know, this is the fuel you're using per lap. And then it will give you, and it says how many laps you're going to be doing. If you have put in the fuel load, it will also tell you your max steam length and the fuel you need in liters. Let's say we were just doing a sprint race of 30 minutes. It would give you a good idea of how much fuel is needed if you're burning two liters a lap is quite handy. The fuel tank capacity is very useful and that's auto populated. So if you went to the Bentley Continental, which has a big fuel tank, you will obviously be able to do longer stints with that if the stint timer in the game allows for that. Pretty handy. Of course, you could use the one that's built into the companion tool, but this gives you a nice alternative, nice, simple alternative. Perhaps the simplest download of all that you can get from race department is ACC setup folders. So by default, ACC does not create the setup folders until you need them. However, that's a bit of a pain. If you wanted to download setups externally and drop them into the folders, you might not know the folder name. You've got to go through the faff of creating them or going into game and creating them there. ACC setup folders basically creates them all for you. And you just drag and drop it into your, into in the root of your ACC directory, documents directory, go into setups. Now you will see all of the vehicles. And when you drop into that, you see all of the tracks. It's as simple as that. Effective. And it saves a lot of messing about. I hope you've enjoyed looking through these a set of Corsa Competizione tools that we can download from the likes of Race Department. And if you have suggestions for other tools, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more of this kind of thing. Stay safe, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.